안녕하세요, 여러분. 캐시입니다. Alex here. 오늘 배워볼 표현은요. 왕. Four dollars? Mm, let me think about it. Take it or leave it. You have five seconds to decide. Hey, hey, what's the rush? One, two, three. Today's expression is take it or leave it. We use this phrase to express that the offer is not negotiable. If I say, the price is four dollars, take it or leave it, it means I'm not going to raise or lower the price. Whether you decide to accept the offer or not, it doesn't matter to me. Take it or leave it sounds a bit harsh. When do you ever use that phrase? With your friends, you could say it playfully, like, you can have this if you want, you know, take it or leave it. You could also say it when you're in a serious negotiation if you want to show them that you are not changing your mind. What's another way you could say take it or leave it? It's not exactly the same meaning, but I guess a nicer way to say it could be it's up to you. You could also say either way, it's up to you. Either way, I don't care. This comes off a bit strong, but you could say, I'm not changing my mind. And my grandpa used to say, no ifs, ands, or buts. He said this every time I tried to come up with an excuse for something I did wrong. If you think about it, all excuses starts with, but, if, and, right? That's right. So the expressions we learned today were, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing my mind. No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. What are you doing? Can you do it? I don't know. Alright. Take it, then let's go. Let's learn English. 즐거운 영어 생활 댁에서도 다양한 영어 표현 배울 수 있어요.